Hi everybody, it's uh, Greg from Workair Technologies again and tonight I just wanted to quickly bust the myth of cab pressurisation and show you exactly why it doesn't work. So behind me I've got an 830E Komatsu cab uh, and it's pressurised. Doesn't matter what the cab's off, you'll get the same result doing this. Uh, let's start running through it. So when I open up the front of the cab, we've got our cab pressuriser here and then this hose, this hose runs through to the air conditioner uh, and that's supplying pressurised air into the cab via the air conditioner. So I'll go inside and have a look at that in a second. Uh, you'll see we've got some expanding foam down here uh, from previous cab sealing. So let's have a look inside. Okay, so inside our cab we've got our uh, recirculation filter. This one's just a sponge. If we quickly take that off we'll be able to see where the pressurizer air comes in. So, that hole right there, that's our pressurizer air in. So, this cab's pretty dusty and it's pretty typical. I mean, if we have a look at our aircon vents, they're very dusty. So that's telling us straight away that this system's not working like it should. So just behind me in the cab here, we have a magnahelic gauge. And this gauge is going to tell us how much pressure we have in the cab. So let's power it up and have a look at how much pressure we've got. Okay, so we've got 50 or just a bit over 50 pascals of pressure in there. And on any site across Australia, this machine would go to work because that's acceptable cab pressure. It's probably considered quite good. Um, now the other thing I need to show you is I have a hose connected to the um, aircon drain. So let's have a quick look at that. So for the purpose of this experiment, I've got this clear hose. And it is connected, if we can see up under there, to our air conditioner drain. And it just runs around and I'll, it's quite long. I'll grab it off here and we'll uh, we'll do our test. So what I've done is I've filled this container here with smoke and this is the hose from our aircon drain. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this container open a little bit and let's see what happens. So the aircon drain is very happily sucking that smoke in. This is a pressurised cab. If we've got a pressurised cab how are we sucking something in, inside? And the reason for that is actually because the air conditioner has much higher potential than the pressurizer does. And this is the effect. So I hope this test goes uh, some way to explaining why your HEPA pressurized cab is still dusty and why you've got dust in your aircon vents, coming out of your aircon vents. Um, of course, the, the aircon drain's only one place where dust is coming in, there are others, um, but it just goes to show that that pressurized cab isn't doing what you think it's doing. So I hope this has been informative. Thank you very much.